The training and the youth conference held over the past week took place at Bishop Hangington Bible College, Luminotown Council, organized by the Greater Samia Bugui Archidiconary. The initiative aimed to empower the youths aged 13 to 30 years. Clement Ogutu, the mayor of Lumino, Majenji Town Council, emphasized that this initiative will help address the relevant issues of teenage pregnancy, youth suicides, and criminal activities in the area. All this is because of unemployment and lack of job on the side of the youth. My, ad my advice to the youth is that all societies, there are certain issues and all societies have got challenges. And if there is a, a, an issue which is not going well on your side, you should not fight, you should not quarrel, you should not commit suicide. Kunebo Godfrey Chiwanda, the National Resistance Movement Party Chairperson for the Central Region, was the chief guest on the final day. He encouraged the youths nationwide to adhere to the six key principles for the successful life, seeking God, respecting community members, embracing continuous learning, loving one another and hardworking. That... Um, uh, puts an enabling environment within your heart and to be able to be peaceful. Number two, the youth must take families seriously. Those who are beginning families, those who are planning to begin families. Because a family can be a stumbling block for your development or can be an enabling factor for your development. Number three is about your finances. It's very important as a young person to plan for your finance. Of course, as the National Resistance Movement talk about the social economic transformation, but particularly the young people, think about what are you going to do to earn a living. Nikisa Barbara Owundo, the National Resistance Movement Party treasurer, praised the leaders of the Greater Sanya Bogwe Archidiconary for their initiative. She highlighted that the skills will prepare the youths to benefit from the government programs like the Parish Development Model and Emioga. We need a prepared population for them to benefit from these interventions. So what they are doing is to prepare, first of all, our people. I have always grappled with the, the issue of why is it that when you look at WUKED academic-wise, we produce academic giants. But when it comes to the ranking in poverty, we have a slot there. You look at Karamoja, then there is, and then WUKED has a slot there. I think that shouldn't happen. What I really confess myself is that we can do something about the mindset of our young people and mindset of our people. If you find someone doing something, couple up with them and boost that, the production of that particular uh, good. Daniel Owoma, the chairperson of the organizing committee, explained that the training specifically targeted the youths within the Greater Sanya Bugui Archidiconary to promote self-sustainability. He noted that they have established an association to seek funding for the startup support, ensuring ongoing empowerment for the youths. Them spiritually, socially, economically, and cognitively, such as training in them in economic skills and enterprises that supports, that supports their daily livelihood. Participants such as Aoma Winfred and Mother Aoma expressed their gratitude for the skills they acquired, which they believe will significantly improve their livelihood. At this, now I'm doing fashion and design, but what I have done here and what I'm available to our has used here, we have, we have now got courage. <laughs> Sanya Rono, the OC5 chairperson of Namayengo district, shared his personal journey, advising the youth to remain humble, obedient, and good fearing. His own experiences were highlighted as a treatment to achieving success through the dedication and perseverance. People came, they wanted to give me money so that I confused the documents. But I said no. I remained faithful. 